Hi guys, Chef Leslie Durso, and I am here with one of my favorite people in the world, Miss Lynn Chen. She's an actress extraordinaire, and she stars in the new Call of Duty. Are you kidding me? We have a major celebrity in the house today. And we are going to play that a little bit later on. And first we are gonna make some pizzas, some mini pizzas that are gonna be easy to pop in our mouths while we're playing at trying to beat your character. Yes. What's your character's name? Go Sri Lan. X-I-U-L-A-N. That's how you pronounce Sri Lan. What she said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've never played a video game before, but I've made a lot of pizza in my life. So this is gonna be amazing and fabulous and fun and it'll be a good afternoon. Um, hey, where can the folks find you on YouTube? Lin Shen Tube. My name with the word tube at the end. Okay, we are going to start with we cheated a little. We're gonna use Trader Joe's store-bought pizza dough. You just have to lay it on your counter for like 30 minutes before you're gonna use it. Is yeah. this all-purpose flour? This is all-purpose flour. Let's use it for this purpose. Let's use it for a pizza purpose. Yeah. <laughs> now, what toppings do we have here? Okay, well, before we get to the toppings, we're gonna stick with the dough. So okay. we've got a plain dough okay. here that we're gonna play around with. And then we've also got the garlic herb flavor because mm. why not? Make it a little fancy. Yeah. And then as far as toppings, we're gonna play around a little bit because I wanna get a little creative. And I know that you took some Twitter requests yes. on what we should be putting I asked on pizza. folks on Twitter what we should be putting on it, and here's what they said. Olives, they would compensate for the missing salt. They're, we have olives. Um, mushrooms, onions, and green pepper. Mushrooms. Well, I asked for no onion. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, no green pepper, that's okay. Uh, spinach. We got it, it's been sauteed. Grilled tomatoes, no. We got tomato sauce. Yeah, and <laughs> artichoke hearts. No, but what we do have is Trader Joe's artichoke antipasti, huh. which is super tasty on its own with crackers and stuff, but this actually is really delicious on a pizza. It smells good. And then broccoli and spinach, yes, we have it. Broccoli, spinach, basil, and why we were getting ready today, I had a little, I was looking at my ingredients and I had like a little moment and I was like, what if, what if we put peanut butter and jelly on a pizza? I think what would happen if we put peanut butter and jelly on a pizza? The world would be a better place. We're gonna give it a try and see what happens. Yes. Uh, along with our, our savory pizzas, we're gonna try a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or peanut butter and jelly pizza. Yes. Yeah. I'm just that crazy. Why? Anyway, Why let's not? start making food. Okay, so do you want the herb or the original? Let's start with herbs. Okay, so we're going to break off a little piece of dough, like that big. Okay. Exactly, you are you already know how to make pizza. Have you done this before, Lynn? You may have done this once or twice You may have done this once or twice. You just wanna stretch it out is basically what we're doing here. And you want it to stay in sort of a round shape. If you're gonna do this on your counter, you just wanna put it down and you wanna work your fingers around. Mine is not even close to a shape of a round mine, circle. Mine looks like a giant you know what? teardrop. I got an idea. It's like crying. Oh. Is that a biscuit cutter? That's a biscuit cutter. Cute. Could and you that's also a perfect circle? Could you also use like the top of a glass if you didn't have a biscuit cutter? Yes, ma'am or jammer. Awesome. Oh, hey, man. look at this. What do we do with this? Could we do like a knot situation? Is this how people make garlic knots? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's try it in a knot. I'll <laughs> tie mine in a knot. You tie mine yours in whatever that mine is. Mine is a. It used to be a. This looks Wait, like the knot. Okay, so we need, <laughs> I don't know what this is. A pan, lined in parchment, that I, uh, you know, parchment flies all over the place, so I use clothespins to keep it in place. Make sure to remove the clothespins before you put it in the oven. And we're gonna throw our knots on there. <laughs> <laughs> and um, let's let's top our little mini pizzas. What are you gonna put on yours? I'm gonna use artichoke pesto. Do it. Will you use that? I'm gonna use the tomato sauce and I'll make like a sort of a traditionally kind of one to begin with. Leaving a little border for the crust. Yes, ma'am. And the good news about these is that they're small and so you can make a bunch of them and you can make a whole bunch of different varieties and try a bunch of different things. You don't have to, you know, Don't load up on one, one thing. thing. Look how cute these little itty bitty mushrooms are. Now very carefully, we're gonna set our pizzas. On. Oh, you're just doing it with your hands. I just wanna demonstrate that. Look at you. That there's two ways. They're already adorable. Aren't they? Yeah. Okay, I'm let's make it. a bunch more. Let's do it. Right. 
Ta-da! Yeehaw! Yes, these look delicious. Uh, the peanut butter and jelly ones look a little funky. I cannot wait to try them though. We just baked them in a 425 degree oven for about 15, 20 minutes. The time is gonna depend on how big you made your pizzas. Lynn looks like she's dying to try to so eat these So ready right now. to eat these. So if you wanna watch us eat these and play Call of Duty and kick Lynn's character's butt, make sure that you go over to her channel, Lynn Chen Tube, and find out what happens. Ha, <laughs>